What's going on you guys, this is MXKDI here, another HP Compaq Pro, this is the micro tower, I'm going to be replacing the motherboard, show you how to do that. So you can move the side cover panel, now what you guys disconnect the SATA and power. You can lift up this fan shroud like this, and we're gonna disconnect the CPU cooler. And you're gonna be using a uh, Torx uh, T15 screwdriver. Disconnect the CPU power, 4 pin, and the rear system fan. And I'm just going to start removing the motherboard. If you don't have a Torx T15 screwdriver, then you have to use a flathead screwdriver. Just make sure to check everything's disconnected before we're gonna pull out the motherboard. Lift this up like this. And I'm gonna be replacing guys with the same motherboard I bought online. Use, they sell. So you're gonna do is remove the memory. And don't forget, this is a DIM 1 and this is a DIM 2. And this is a channel A and this is a channel B. 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 1 and 2 is a channel A, dual channel. And channel B is a 3 and 4 right here. To... So you remove that. Now I'm going to remove the... You're going to take a paper towel and remove the old thermal compound off the CPU. Like this. And remove it.
And I'm gonna replace the battery. Same time. Cause this here, they got the all the used motherboard. It's got the old battery in here, so I have to replace it. CMOS is a uh, CR2032. So now I'm gonna install the memory back. And what I'll do is I'll take a 91% rubbing alcohol and you're gonna wipe down the just paper towel. I'll install it back. Now, you have to hold on the motherboard and install the screw here like this, so it'll be aligned. I have to install the second screw to align the motherboard. One in the corner, screw here and one in the bottom in the corner. Rear system fan. And it's color coded to the motherboard and you stall it back. CPU power. Now you're gonna make sure to connect the system fan here in the corner, right corner. And uh, into an integrated speaker. You're gonna connect the front panel header. And hold on, I'm just gonna shut this alarm off. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so hold on.
Now I'm gonna install the other header, the yellow one. The blue, the green, now I'm gonna guys go ahead and install the, for the city, for the power, now you're gonna wipe down the heat sink, the old thermal compound. If yours doesn't come off really well, then you have to use a debit credit card and scrape it off like this. Then you're going to take a clean paper towel, apply the 91% rubbing alcohol, and wipe it down like this. Do the same with the CPU. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply the thermal compound. Right in the middle, not too much. Install the heat sink back. Make sure to check all the all the screws so they're not loose on each side. And make sure nothing's all the cables are connected back. Now I'm gonna install back the the SATA cable. And the blue one is the SATA Zero. This is gonna be the main drive for the boot. And the SATA One would be optical drive. Now, everything's connected and you're done. So you guys, this will be the end of the video and if you guys can use the thermal compound, uh, go with the Arctic uh, Civil 5 or Arctic MX2 MX4, it's a really good one, I like that one. Looks like we're done, it was successful replacement motherboard. Put the side cover back on. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.